And when we get together, big things happen. We make real change possible. I was here with Jesse Jackson in the 1980s when the slogan of this campaign was, Our time has come. I'm looking at this crowd and I'm saying, Our time has come. We're now, you young guys, you're in a position to do great things. The country you will inherit is fundamentally different than the country your parents came to. Look, my father came in the 1920s. He was an illegal immigrant when he came. I got to nominate Jesse Jackson for president in 1984 from the podium of the Democratic Convention. I started my speech this way. I said, I'm the son of an illegal immigrant. I'm going to nominate for president the great-grandson of a slave. Where else but in America could that happen? And we're still, we're still, despite Donald Trump, despite all the stuff that comes out of Washington, this country provides incredible opportunity for change. And even when we run into problems, we have the vehicles, the tools, the power, the vote to overcome those obstacles. The person who's going to come on stage following me is Rashida Clay. Rashida has been able to do in two years more than we ever thought possible. Do you any of you remember Jim Everest? No. He was a senator in the 1970s. When he was elected, he made fundamental change because for the first time, one of us was at the table. And when he left office, he took his political capital and he built the Anti-Discrimination Committee, which I was the president of. We now have vehicles, we have organizations, we have this assembly, which the AACS has brought together, that is so impressive. There isn't a political person in this area who looking at this audience would say, I can ignore these folks. They cannot ignore us. They can't ignore us on immigration. They can't ignore us on civil rights. They can't ignore us on discrimination. They cannot ignore us on Palestine. We are changing the debate. We are changing the debate. No one can ignore the suffering of Palestinians. No one can ignore the corruption of Washington that has dealt Palestinians a very dirty blow. We just don't... We just don't face Israel. We face Israel and the politics of America. But we have the capacity of changing the politics of America. But you got to vote. you got to run as a delegate. you got to pick a presidential campaign and get involved. If you're not 18, you can still get involved. Because I, my, my granddaughter is 16 and she's working for Bernie Sanders right now in his office. Because young people have a stake. You have a stake in the future. You have a stake in climate change. You have a stake in all of the issues that ultimately will shape the future of this country, this planet, and our people as well. I want you to take it seriously. I want you to sign up and run. I want you to sign up and work. I want you to sign up and do what your parents couldn't do, what your families overseas are unable to do. They need your voice. When you speak, countless millions across the world hear you because you're speaking for them. Because they can't speak for themselves in America. And so I thank you for the invitation to be with you tonight. I want you to join us and work with us and be a part of this movement to change America. And listen, don't let anybody divide us. There are those who want to divide us on the basis of country. There are those who want to divide us on the basis of religion. We will never allow them to do that. We are of Arab descent, one community, one goal, one nation, one people fighting for change in our country and in the world. Listen, you can celebrate tonight, you can cheer tonight, but what you gotta do when you go home 
is commit yourself to working. If all you did was come here tonight and dance and sing and have fun and laugh at some really funny jokes, I'm not funny. I'm actually pathetic. You should talk to my kids about whether I'm funny or not. I don't agree on that. If that's all you do, nothing happens until next year. But we will have the most decisive election that our country has ever faced coming up next year. The most decisive election. We will end the nightmare or we'll live four more years with the nightmare. Think about it. You can end the nightmare. You can help wake America up from this nightmare and make change. But you got to do something about it. Not everybody can do what Rashida did. Not everybody can run for Congress. But everybody can vote. Everybody can pick a campaign and work. Everybody can run for delegate and be at a national convention or be at a state convention or be at a county convention. You know, here in Texas, you get to write your state party platform if you go to the state convention, if you run for local delegate. You can get involved in Texas politics and make change in Texas. You know, if Texas changes, America changes. If Texas changes, America changes. 10,000 people here today can make a huge difference in this state. I'm pleading with you, take the challenge seriously. You can write me at my office. You can contact me anytime you want. I'm really serious about that. I want you to be involved. And I'm willing to do everything I can to help you guys here in Texas. Because I've been blown away by this crowd. I've been blown away by the commitment you all show and by the fact that you are not allowing anyone to divide you based on country. When, when he was asking... It's so different. I mean, I grew up in this world where people divided on village. If you were from this village in London versus that village in London, you didn't talk to them because somebody's grandfather had done something 50 years ago. But we're not divided on village. We're not even divided on country. We're not even divided on religion. We are one people, one community with one goal. Remember that. I thank you. I urge you to join us and be with us and be a part of making fundamental change. And now I turn it back over to the guys that make it last year. Let's hear it again for Jim Zuby, the founder of the Arab American Institute, one of the pioneers for us as an Arab American. If anything, you guys going to get out there and work next year, going to get out there and vote, even all you little guys up here. I know you're like 12 years old, but you're going to vote.